executive consultants, you're welcome. Uh, a lot of people asked and they inboxed us using the contacts that I've seen on our poster or the WhatsApp contact, and then the phone call contact. And they were asking, how do you do a, how do you use a tally to do a payroll? So today we are going to be looking at a payroll system and uh, we are going to be doing a payroll using tally. So I will open my company and uh, this is how it's going to be. So how do you now get to do, how do you get to do a payroll using tally as, a, as a, an, an accounting software? So you come first of all to company because uh, you need to make a few features because when you look at this, there's nothing, when you look at the, when I come to the chart of accounts, uh, you clearly see that there is nothing to do with the payroll. So I need to access the payroll in my features. So I'll press F11 and then I will come straight to, I'll come straight to payroll and I'll say maintain it. So when, once I'm done maintaining it, I will control A so that I can close off this. And once I do that, you can see that we have our payroll masters bought on board. So I will go back to gateway of tally and I will say create because we know tally, a payroll includes uh, information to do with staff and all that. So I will not go into employee group, uh, but uh, if you want to have employee groups like managers, uh, let me just create one just for, so I will say, I'll create one and I'd say perhaps manager, managers, and I'll say it's primary, and then I'll say define their salary, and then I will, I'll close. So that is as easy as it is there. You're just creating a group which where employees can fit. So I'm going to create one employee and then uh, we'll be using him as uh, an illustration on how we can use tally to handle payroll information. So I'm going to create an employee called Agava Douglas. Agava Douglas. And I would say he is, he started with, started date of joining the company, just like the company starts. We are in a new financial year. And then I will say define salary details. We'll look at this later on when I get to work on it. So employee number 001. And then I'll say designation, maybe uh, accountant, accounting. And then I can say function, accounting and finance. And then uh, location and all other things depends on what you have on your details. Of course, Agava Douglas is a male. So date of birth, we can say 1st July, and then we say maybe 1990. And then of course, blood group would say he's all positive. And then, so the rest are going to be kept on just. So I'll say Muhumuza. And then I will just continue spouse's name, not married. So I'll just skip that. Then address, I will say, I mean, Bokoto. So once that is done, I will simply put his phone number. Then we put the one that uh, the executive consultants uses so that people can maybe others that have queries or on things that they would want us to work on say executive consultants consultants nine at gmail.com then uh, provide bank details now provide bank details that means you want to that is so if i do that that means agava douglas has his account number let's say it is that and uh, the bank that he uses because so I will need to create, I will need to create a bank. So for the purposes of time, let me say no, and then we'll just clear him. So of course the NIN number, so the NIN number would be, would just, and I'm just trying to come up with any numbers. And once that is done, 
then I will have created an employee. So once I create an employee, then the next thing is I need to find out how am I going to be paying? Because I'm not a production company, mine is paying is going to be a dependent on uh, attendance. So I'll say select attendance stroke production type. So I'll do that because I need to create and I will create maybe present. So one can be present and that means attendance. So if it was production, I would use production. But because we are on attendance, so you are going to say attendance stroke live with pay. So I will do that. And then uh, I will say days, period type is days. And I will say, okay. Then I will create one maybe where we have uh, someone who is on a formal leave. Formal leave. Formal leave. So I will say formal leave. Hopefully that is okay. Formal leave. And I will still say, that is uh, attendance stroke live with pay. So I will say yes as well. And then I will say someone who is absent. Someone who is absent still, I will make sure that is live without pay because if you're absent, then you're not on leave. So I will do that. And then finally, I can say someone can come up with a casual, casual leave. And then that still would call for live without pay. So. I have created how I would how I'll be how what I'll be using to pay the what I'll be determining on to pay someone and it's a tendency and I've created the different units. So once that is done, then I need to create the pay heads. So I'll come and then I say pay heads basically maybe let me say basic salary basic salary. It's going to be of course earnings for employees. Now in my company we are saying it is fixed. It's not variable. And then I will say it is can because it is salary, so we can because it is under, so we can just call it as long as it is an expense. And then of course it will affect the net salary. And then use for calculation of gratuity. Now here you maybe want to uh, just know you basically want to maybe award or sort of a thing. Then you can say yes, but because we don't want to go into that, so we'll say calculation type will say on attendance. So if it's on attendance, then they will ask us, uh, is, it, uh, is, is it going to be formal leave or present? So we will say basic leave will, will, be, will be paid to someone who is present. And then the days will be in the months. Then we'll say the basic calculation of per day will be as per calendar day. Now, that is done, then we'll create maybe another pay head, which is a, let's say, a daily allowance, daily, daily allowance. And then I will still maintain these. I will just maintain these and I can maybe just bring it on this. And then I say, and then I will say formal leave, then still months, and then as calendar days, and I will close off this. So when I close off this, then I need to, the next thing that I need to do is I need to first of all, go back and then I will say alter because I need to define the salary of this gentleman called Agaba Douglas. So of course it is Agaba Douglas. So I will come and I click on him. And once I click on him, I'll say effective of, uh, we said our company started on 1st July. So 1st July, 2021. And uh, I'll say basic salary. How much are we paying him? We are paying him roughly maybe, let's say, 200,000. 200,000. And then, uh, of course, the other one is daily allowance of, uh, let's say, 20,000. 20,000 Uganda shillings. So once I'm done setting the daily allowance, or rather the pay heads for, once I've finished defining, the salary for Douglas Agaba, I will now be able to uh, pay him. So when I'm going to pay him, I'll come back to transactions and I'll press on my vouchers. Now, it is important that if you're going to do anything that is one includes uh, uh, to do with a payroll, you do it on the payroll vouchers. So I'll press F10 to access the payroll vouchers. And of course, our pay mode has been, or our pay basis has been on attendance. So I'll click on attendance, and of course, they'll bring Agaba Douglas. 
So when they bring him, then I will put, I will put, uh, I will put uh, the the days that he has been present. For example, I will say he has been present for about uh, twenty days. Then I will still select Agava Douglas, and I will say he has been on a formal leave for about uh, five days. And then I will still say Agava Douglas he has been absent from work for about uh, let's say two days. And then I will still select him. And uh, he has been on casual leave because we want to make 31 days. So those are 27. So we'll say he has been on casual leave for four days. So once that is done, I will have made a, a, a payroll voucher for this employee of mine called Agaba Douglas. And I will save that. So once that is done, the other thing to do is now to pay him. So I will still use vouchers and I will come to other vouchers and I'll select payroll because we are paying off using the payroll uh, vouchers. So when I come, of course, uh, assuming we have cash on our, we have money on our in, on, on, with us on uh, at cash at hand. So I would simply come and I would select autofill. So when I select autofill, they will come and then I'll select salary. So you can see clearly that they are telling us that uh, the salary is uh, is going for the month of July, running from 1st of July to 31st of July. So I will come and then I select Agawa Douglas. And then, of course, if there were many, by the way, just here, if there were many, I would select all items. That is, if in your company you have about 40, you're not going to be tapping on one on one. So you just select all and uh, they will all be here. So that's why they are after me selecting Agaba Douglas, they're asking me sort by employee name or employee number. So I would say employee number. And then they'll ask me, are you paying using the bank or the cash? So I would say I'm using the cash. And uh, you can clearly see that uh, that is the amount or that is the pay that uh, Douglas will be getting. Because, uh, and you can clearly see in the narration that pay period of 1st July to 31st, july so once that is done i'll continue and then i'll say on so we have paid off douglas so how do we see what we have paid off to douglas so we'll come and then say display more reports we'll come to payroll reports and then you can see it on attendance register so that you can be able to know how much was paid to Agawa Douglas. He has worked for 20 days present. And so the call information is there. Or if you want, you can clearly come and then see it from the pay slip. You click on Douglas and then you can be able to see how much Douglas was paid. And then, of course, you get to know that his gross salary is uh, 220, but he got 130. 2,258 shillings. Why? Because he because of the calculations of, of that attendance mode that we had put in place as a company. So once all that is done, then that means Agaba has been paid. And if you want to print it out, you will simply print it out when you want. So I will say that, and then I will print it out if I want, but still I can preview it just like that. And then uh, I will be able to print once I feel it is necessary. So that is how we deal with payroll system when we are using Tally. And uh, in, our, in, our, in our next video, we are going to be showing how do you transit into a new financial year and uh, how do you use Tally to do cost job accounting process batch accounting and all that. Remember I said that this system is basically for manufacturing. Tally is suit best suit for manufacturing companies. So we are going to go deep into manufacturing, batch costing, process costing, and all that in our next videos. Executive consultants, please watch the videos, subscribe, don't just view and leave, subscribe and share. And then we'll be able to learn together. Executive consultants learning together.